Welcome to EQ Symphalar, the EQ lighting control software. In the last video we began to create a little project and we started in the setup window and we created our layouts for our project. We created the pixel wall layout and we created a cove light layout with five cove lights. We also created a group and this group contains only the first three coves. If we now go to the content area, then we see that Symphalite already created basic layers for the layouts. And it created a layer for the pixel wall, for the cove light layout, and it created a layer for the cove light group, which was named the first coves. You can see that these are all layers for color faders. If I go back to the setup and go to the cove light layout and I will now add an element, a fixture that has only an intensity channel and now back to the content then Symphalite created an additional layout for the cove light layout which has only an intensity channel not a color RGB channel. So Symphalite takes care that for all layouts proper layers are created as a first step. So now let's switch to content. As a first step we want to use images and videos as content and when using videos and images they can be selected from the media library and this media library contains the videos and the images I want to work with. I can import additional images and videos by selecting the area and then importing or adding media from my local disk or from a network share. And these are then added to the media library. When importing videos it is possible that they can't be imported because of the container format that is used and the internal coding. So when using videos the best way to do is to use the Windows Media Video format. They, in most cases, can be imported without problems. Let's first use an image and I switch now to my pixel wall layout and I have all these layers here available but I only want to work with the layers that are connected to this media wall. I can disable the display of layers that do not belong to this layout with this glasses symbol. Now to place content in a layer I select the fit to windows function. It is quite easy. Just drag and drop an image here from the media library to a layer. I now imported this image as content there are a lot of properties for the selected video and I will adjust the ratio so the display of the image is kept in its ratio. I can resize this display of the image and if I keep the shift key pressed then the size will be changed but the ratio of the image stays the same. I can even rotate the content and if I did this and I want to get back I set the angle to zero again and here it is. I will resize this image and place it let's say here. And if I now play the content, then we have our image as content on this tile. Now I want to use a video as content and to add a video is the same as adding an image. I just from the media library select a video and with drag and drop add the video to the layer. 
As the first layer is already used, I will now drag and drop the video here and you see the yellow bar and this shows if a new layer is created above or below the current layer. Here now my video is placed. I got an additional layer and I adjust the video to the size of the image which is around 20 seconds. Also a video has a lot of properties and these properties can be changed. For example, I can change the frame rate to get a slow-mo effect. So I changed the frame rate here to 10 frames per second. When using these FPS changes, there is a tool which is called the Free Video FPS Converter. You can find the URL of this tool in the menu. And when Symphonite starts, it will recognize that this tool is available in the system and will automatically integrate it in Symphonite. And this FPS converter upsamples videos to a higher frame rate to avoid stuttering of videos which are shown in a frame rate lower than the one used in the original version. Now playing and you see the video and the image in front. As for the image you can the same way adjust for example the size of a video and can change the mapping of the video. Now the video only runs on slow-mo on the first tile. To get back to the original state I select the video and reset the mapping so it covers the complete layout. Let's get back to the original frame rate. Okay, so now we have one video and an image as content. We have now created our first sequence. And a sequence also has its own property set, so I click outside in a layer and here now I have the properties of the sequence and I can select to loop the sequence in total or I can select to create a loop segment. If I create a loop segment then I can define an area where a looping of a section comes up. To define the end point at the beginning then you have to edit the properties for the loop segment. The other way is to point into this track, click the right mouse button and set the beginning of the loop and the same way right mouse button loop end. And now we have a looping section defined in our sequence. If we now play, then it starts playing and enters the loop and repeats the loop. Now for something completely different. I will now add an effect from the effects library. Let's take the fire and ice. I also drag it down and place an additional layer. If we now play these sequence you will see the logo, you see the video, but you do not see the effect. And this is due to the layer concept in Symphonite. 
because lower levels are only visible in the final content if the opacity of the layer above is below 1. And this video has an opacity of 1. I will reduce it to 0 0.5. If I now play again, you see the fire and ice effect in the background running. So the layer concept in Symphalite is that a layer will only be visible if the layers above have a transparency part or a lower opacity. Only in this case the content of a layer is rendered through to the final content. The reason why this all is visible without changing the opacity of this EQ, Symfo this EQ logo is this is a PNG image which is transparent, which has a transparent background. And for this reason, all the layers below come through. If I set this again a little lower, then you can see more of the effect. It's time to save our project. So I go to File, Save As. And now I can save the show in two different formats. I will call this... Where is it? Oh, here it is. Tutorials. I will save it as number two. And there are two versions of files I can save it to. The standard format is LPRJ and this saves only the show. But if I save it in the HFP format, then the file will not only include the project, but the media that are also connected to the show, videos and images. I will only save it as a standard show. So we have created our first content, and in the next video, we'll go to effects.